Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to eliminate errors showing up in your calculations. So if you see in the blue section compared to the top section, though they have the same type of data for the games played as a hyphen and a zero, in the top half you get a hash value or a hash divisible by zero error, but in the bottom half you just get an hyphen. Let's see how to do this. Here is a table of 10 people showing the points scored over the number of games played. If you want to calculate the points per game, all we need to do is go to the cell E5. I type in the formula equal to C5, which is points, divided by D5, which is the games played. And there, once you drag the formula down, you get the points per game for each player. Let's say we have some error in our data. Um, let's say for LeBron, instead of games played as 14-10, a zero is entered. And let's say for Kobe, instead of 13-46, that is an hyphen. You see now that we've got errors in our data as points per game. Let's say we want to avoid showing errors. It is easily achievable using a formula in Excel, which is called if error. So let's go to cell E5 and let me just clear all the data. And now let's type in the formula equal to if error of the first part needs to be the formula as usual C5 divided by D5 and put in the information you want to put if the formula you have before it results in an error. So let's say in this case, we just want to display an hyphen. So put that in double quotes and close the formula. That's it. Let's drag the formula down. You notice that though the data in the games played is going to result in an error, our result is not showing an error as the end result. If error is very useful when you do not want to display any calculation errors. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.